Hello, my name is Katie Reinhardt. I'm the Special Collections Librarian at the Davenport Public Library. In this presentation, I will show you how to research your National History Day project using library resources. I will discuss locating both primary and secondary sources. We'll start with secondary sources. As you probably discussed with your teachers, secondary sources are those written about a topic by a journalist, a professional historian, or another type of author based on the primary sources they have collected and thought about. You can come into the library to check out books, DVDs, and US government publications. Special collections materials you will need to look at in our center at the Main Street location. That's the Richardson Sloan Special Collections Center. We're located on the lower level of the Main Street Library location. The, the secondary sources we have can be searched in two ways. You could search them using our catalog. We'll also be talking about the secondary sources you can read or watch without actually having to come into the library. These are our subscription databases, which can be accessed online using your library card. They include ebooks, documentaries, and articles written for online encyclopedias, magazines, and academic journals. You can't get to these with a Google search. The library purchases these databases and then shares them with the public. The library catalog is available through our website at davenportlibrary.com. You'll start with key typing keywords into the search box here in the upper right. Make sure, making sure the catalog button is checked here. For sources on topics in history and biography, you will want to choose the advanced search option using this drop down menu once you've entered the catalog itself. You'll want to search by subject, so you can use this menu to designate subject as the area you'd like to search. Subject term suggestions will automatically appear once you start typing it in your keywords. Sometimes the terms are different from what you might expect. As you can see here, Civil War is actually, the heading is United States history. Civil War. You can search for historical information on any topic this way if you add dash dash history to, to your topic in the search bar. Uh, an example would be space flight dash dash history. A person's name can be a subject too. Just remember to type in the last name first, a comma, and the first name. You can use the narrow your search options to, on the left-hand side of the catalog to find more precise or relevant subject headings to search. In this example, maybe civil rights workers is closer to what I wanted than civil rights history is where I started out. So you can click directly on that subject heading if you think that one's better. You can also filter the results for type of material. So you can click on, so you can click on DVD, for example, here. Uh, to get a list of only the, the DVDs available. 
sometimes I choose adult audience under the target audience if at first I get too many little kids books that come up. So once you find a source that will, you think will be useful, click on the find it button in the record to display the call number. The call number will tell you which of the Davenport libraries has the book or other item. And you should then write down the complete number here, along with the author and title. So you're prepared when you come into the library. The pub public libraries like ours use the Dewey Decimal System. So you will find history in the 900s area. Here are some books uh, with 900 call num 900 level call numbers uh, about World War II. There are uh, topics in history covered by social science uh, call numbers in the 300s, for example, um, immigration and um, the Great Migration. We have books on those topics. Documentaries on DVD will have the letters DVD in front of the Dewey Decimal Number. They're kept in a separate section of the library. Likewise, biographies have a biography before the person's last name and they have their own section as well. So um, here I'm looking at a book on uh, Sonia Sotomayor uh, and so I would have find that in the biography section under S for Sotomayor. Materials with the prefix SC are materials in the special collections department. These do not check out, so you have to come see them in special collections. And that's again in, at the Main Street location. There's some Iowa history journals with the call number SC Magazine area. And if you come on down, we can show you exactly where those are. Materials with gov doc prefix and followed by a long number with lots of colons and slashes and dashes um, are part of our government documents collection. And those also happen to be kept in the special collections area. And we'd be glad to help you locate those. So if you're looking for materials specifically in special collections or in um, government documents, you can use the search options. Um, link here before you start to type in any subjects terms in the search boxes and choose Davenport Main Library under libraries and choose special collections under collections or you can also choose government documents there. Then you'll click on the set search options button here to return you to the main um, the main search screen. If your item is only available in another Rivershare library, and that would include other uh, libraries along the Mississippi um, in, on the Iowa side of the Quad Cities, like Bettendorf, Clinton, and Muscatine, you can place a hold on the item um, that button is below the find it button on the catalog record. And you and by going through that process, you can have the item delivered to the Davenport Public Library location that is closest to you. If you are looking for a specific item that is not in the Rivershare catalog at all, you can click on the Mobius link to search for it within a network of Midwestern libraries or the prospector link to search for it 
it in, in an even larger network of Western US libraries. Just follow the instructions in the catalog for making interlibrary loan requests this way. And um, they will also be delivered to a, a Davenport Public Library location where you can pick them up. So if you're going to choose any resources from uh, these wider collections, um, please be sure to plan ahead because it, it may take a couple of weeks to, for them to get to you. Uh, the Rivershare Network will be in a couple of days. So now let's take a look at the secondor, secondary sources you can get to without actually having to come into a Davenport Public Library location at all. You'll just need to enter your library card number for access online. Many books on historical topics are available as ebooks or e audiobooks through um, through our uh, Libby, which is the app for the OverDrive um, service that we're subscribed to through the State Library of Iowa. You can search for titles you're interested in within the app. Uh, they'll also show up if you search for them in the catalog. And this little symbol, the OverDrive symbol, will indicate that um, it's available for you. You can watch documentaries on historical subjects online using the library's Canopy service. Find it on our website under Research Tools, Online Resources. So you'll just click here. And here's an example of the kinds of films you can see in the US history category. And you can just go ahead and play that or play, um, play it, uh, take your notes, uh, add it to a watch list to play it later. Your library card also gives you access to other secondary sources online resources, such as the Gale Virtual Reference Library database. Here you can browse the history category to find entire books and shorter entries on historical topics. For example, here's a book on the history of nursing. And here's an encyclopedia entry on the Cuban Missile Crisis. Both types of sources will have references and suggestions for further readings. Please remember to look through these to find additional sources on your topic, both secondary and primary sources. The Gale in Context Biography Database lets you search for short articles on historical figures such as Eleanor Roosevelt here. And these also have a further readings lists for you to check through. Masterfile Premier has magazine and journal articles on historical topics. This database is slightly more difficult to search than the two Gale ones. Your best bet is to type in some keywords on your topic, then scroll through the articles that come up, find one that seems useful, identify the subject heading used to index it, and then search again by that heading that's used by the database. So searching for women's suffrage, the first time I got articles about the fight for voting rights for women from places all around the world, but that was too many to sort through. So then to get more precise results, I searched again, adding uh, in the United States after the women's suffrage movement. I also suggest limiting your search to articles 
here under document type. Here's an article, including photographs, about the suffragist Susan B. Anthony from the American History Magazine that I found using Master File Premier. Some of the articles you'll find here are meant for university level students and professors, so you might need some help from a parent or a teacher to interpret them. Now let's talk about how the library can help you find primary sources for your National History Day topic. These would include historical magazines and newspapers, uh, geneal genealogical materials, primary sources in, in um, Gale and Masterfile Premier. And then I'll also make suggestions for uh, finding some online primary sources. The Davenport Public Library holds historical magazines and journals, some dating back to the 1800s. These are kept in the Special Collections Center at the Main Street location. In the Atlantic and the Nation, for example, which go back to the 1850s and 60s, you can discover what opinion writers who lived through historical events thought about them. So, these are writers who are living at the time uh, observing. So that counts as a primary source. And a uh, source like Life Magazine might have interviews with and photographs of people that we think of as historical figures from the present day perspective. Special Collections also has the New York Times on microfilm and our staff can help you use the index volumes to find contemporary reports about people or events. The Gale Virtual Reference Library database that we discussed earlier also has collections of primary sources. These are, are representative of sp specific decades in United States history here in this example. In Master File Premier, you can actually search for primary source documents on your topic. With our Heritage Quest and Ancestry Library databases, you can find sources marking major events in individuals' lives, such as birth and death records, wills, military records, and census records. Here's a few sites for finding primary source materials online. Uh, the Digital Public Library of America has lots of digital collections, maps, uh, documents, um, handwritten letters, thing, diaries, things like that. Likewise, the Library of Congress's digital collections. The Library of Congress also has a site, uh, a project called Chronicling America, where many historic newspapers historical newspapers from all over the country. Um, you, can, you can look through those newspapers. And then the National Archives and Records Administration for the US has plenty of, um, of advice for how to search for primary source documents online in the docs teach portion of their site. Another great place to look is in museums. They also will have digital collections, um, digital exhibits online. Um, and all of these you can just Google. The same is true of historical societies and um, archives and special collections 
at universities and colleges. If you're able to, uh, you can also uh, travel to some of these uh, museums, historical societies, or um, special collections at universities and colleges uh, to, to research materials in person. Um, of course, you'll first want to go to their online catalogs to, to be specific about what you'd like to find there. If you've chosen a local history topic to explore for your project, the library's special collection center is rich in resources. And even if you haven't, we would encourage you to find local examples of nationwide or worldwide movements or events such as um, soldiers, soldiers serving in World War I or II. Um, that can give you a little bit more depth and interest to your project presentation. We have personal and family papers, as well as records of local organizations in our archives and manuscript collection. And you can locate these using our archives space online catalog. Uh, these will describe the collection and give you a number that you can use to request these materials in the Special Collections Center for our staff to help you with those. You can find photographs in our collection and in collections elsewhere in the Quad Cities area with the Upper Mississippi Digital Image Archive. That's at umv.org. On the website for special for the library uh, under genealog genealogy and history, which is the special collections um, section of the website, you can use our local database search to search local record collections for specific people's names. We also have local and regional newspapers you can view on microfilm and historical newspapers from all over Iowa. They can be viewed on our Access Newspaper Archive database, which is available only in special collections or um, at the um, branch libraries under online resources. And finally, our staff has created guides to research on various local history topics, bringing together both primary and secondary sources available in our collections. So before you visit the library and special collections, we would recommend that you find as much as you can using the online resources the library provides. Uh, those offered um, those offered by the library and also um, museums, historical societies, and the other ones we recommended. When you're using the catalog, please write down the call numbers and the titles for the sources um, so that we can retrieve them for you quickly when you come to the library. Bring a list of the sources you have already found before coming to the library and be sure to write down specific questions you'd like to answer. Thank you. And here's some information how to contact us for advice for doing your research for your National History Project. All the staff at special, in the Special Collections Center is willing to help you. We're at Special Collections at DavenportLibrary.com. Our phone is 563-326-7902. And again, our website is at DavenportLibrary.com and you'll click on the geneal Genealogy and History section. <laughs>